In today's pickup challenge video, I'm gonna be checking out five types of pickups that are known for being in the neck position of a Telecaster. So today I have a Golden Age pickup, uh, Tele Bridge pickup in the bridge. We'll be using a Golden Age uh, neck Tele pickup, a, a uh, Filtertron pickup, a Golden Age P90 pickup, a humbucker, and a DiMaggio mini humbucker pickup that has coil split so we can compare something about I'm interested in. So of course, um, this is going to be interesting because uh, I've always really liked the Tele pickup com configuration, which is the Tele bridge and neck pickup. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'm running the guitar right now through a Fender Deluxe 65 reverb. <laughs> That's your bridge. Here's your neck. So obviously a lot softer. A lot of players either love the neck position of a telly or hate it. I find in some cases I really like it. It's got a great tone. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't have the punch I want, especially if I'm trying to play some lead stuff. Uh, but again, there's, there's times where I like it and there's times where I don't. And uh, so that's why I'm curious to see I don't know what other options are there. Now, one thing I will tell you is as much as I like the bridge and neck on this, I've always liked the telly uh, middle position. So for me, it's always been the bridge and then this middle. You get the best of both worlds, a little bit of warmth in the neck and the punch off the bridge. I love that. So let's go ahead and hear my first choice, which is the mini humbucker. This is the one I think I have the highest hope for. And uh, so we have the course, the bridge. Let's go to the neck. Way more output. Definitely, you can see probably when you're playing those single notes. Wow, big difference. Now what's great about this is you can coil split this. Yeah, watch that. It's very reminiscent to that neck pickup of Tilly. Actually, the coil split version had just a little bit, just a little bit push on the amp, a little bit more. Where, so like I said, this should stay coil split because we're staying in the same position. So a little clearer, I actually prefer this coil split over that, but they're so close, I bet you on a YouTube world, uh, they're probably on par. But what's nice about this, go ahead and go humbucker and you get that. Now you get the little power behind it. Okay, bridge. Let's go to that middle. Like this. In fact, already I think I like this a little bit more than the uh, the uh, Tele pickup. Although again, um, I don't know. I still like the Tele pickup. So let's now take the Tele pickup against the Filtertron. I'm really curious about that. So again, we'll go right to the neck pickup. Not what I expected at all. The Tele, the Filtertron pickup still has the jangle of the Tele. I really hear that on the higher string. But definitely got the low end punch. But not the push. The pickup's low enough output. It's not pushing the amp hard at all. There's no way to coil split this particular pickup that I have. I really dig that. 
And uh, I know uh, some of you are probably asking about pickup heights. I set all the pickups to the heights that I think are probably the best. And of course, uh, in some of the other pickup challenge videos, somebody asked, you know, can you, you know, can you adjust the amp to compensate for what we're hearing? Absolutely, absolutely. You can probably adjust an EQ control, our EQ pedal, all kinds of things to adjust what you're hearing. However, this is about identifying the pickups. So we're trying to, we're trying to stay true to the pickups themselves. So let's go ahead and now we'll do the neck pickup since it's kind of a, against the P90 neck. So again, same thing. that up but because it threw me off because you know why it's actually almost sounds identical it's just again a lot fuller really big really curious these sound almost identical um i bet you hold on Curiosity is gonna kill me. Let's go ahead and put the P90 in the bridge and the Tilly pickup and the neck. They're a little different, but they're very reminiscent. So I would say the P90 is the closest sound uh, that I've tried so far to the actual bridge pickup. So if I was trying to match the bridge pickup, in other words, get something that sounds really consistent, that P90 would be something I'd consider. All right, so now let's go back to the Tele neck pickup. Okay. And now, of course, we're going to the humbucker. I mean, geez, it's not even the same guitar anymore. Yeah, I mean, literally, it's just, I mean, it's huge. It doesn't even sound like a telecast. And I don't think this... So this is coil split, so we can track, check it out. So here's the humbucker. Coil split. That's your bri uh, middle position, now it's bridge. I can see where if you had the, if you went with the full humbucker in the neck position, you could then use the coil split and you wouldn't be losing too much of that middle or neck position tone. It's not the same. Keep in mind, they use different wire. This is a 42 gauge wire. That's a uh, 43 gauge wire in the, uh, whoops, I'm sorry, 43 gauge wire in the, in the Tele neck pickup. And of course, different kinds of magnets and materials. But in this particular challenge, I was just trying to compare the different neck, uh, neck pickups, not worry about each particular one. So uh, what's interesting is I really think for me, the mini humbucker, which is funny because I remember Fender did a hot rod Tele that was a, like a 50s era butterscotch telly and they put a mini humbucker in the neck and I remember always thinking highly of that guitar but now hearing it in real time. This is the bridge. Okay. That's the coil split. I'm loving this. This is the way to go. Go to the neck position, or I'm gonna go to the middle and I'm gonna do it with the coil split. Again. I'm curious to see what you guys think in the comments, which Nick pickup you thought kind of really popped out at you in the cleans. I think for me it was the mini humbucker. I'm going to now switch amps if you don't mind. I'm going to go to an overdrive and, and just kind of play a little bit for a few minutes with the overdrive to see how that sounds. Okay, so what I've done is I've switched amplifiers and now I'm running 
a uh, Marshall JMP 2061, which is a 20 watt Marshall. I have it cranked and we're just gonna play the pickups and see how they sound. Again, we're not gonna worry about the playing, we're gonna focus on the, the way they sound. They are very similar uh, in the room. They sound a lot alike. I thought the humbucker was bassier and not something I would really enjoy. To be honest with you, I kind of thought in this particular case that the uh, Tele neck pickup uh, just had the tone I liked. And then I would say the P90 and the mini humbucker. Again, I think the mini humbucker really, really nailed it today. Uh, in my opinion, I'm curious to see what you guys thought in this challenge. Again, this was just to give you a comparative of all those five pickups in the neck position. Now, so you guys know, if you have the, you know, like a Mexican made Telecaster or an American made Telecaster, most likely you are routed underneath that pick guard for a humbucker. So you can stick one of these pickups, all these should fit in there. And um, they make Filtertron style pickups that have a, a, a style that you can mount into a normal pick guard. You don't have to have anything special. So again, it is all those five pickups are obtainable to put in any Telecaster guitar if you choose, and uh, you can mess with that. You can even do interesting and cool things with the electronics. For instance, uh, if you wanted to, you could put a 500K potentiometer in the uh, volume pot of your Telecaster if you decide to put any of the humbuckers in the neck and then run a 500K resistor. And what happens is, is that when you run that resistor uh, with the bridge pickup, the bridge will see 250K and then the neck will see the 500K. So that's a nice best of both worlds uh, kind of thing. And I'll put a link down below. Lindy Fralin sells that and it's really a really cool idea. And uh, that's the first place I ever seen it and used it. So I'll put the link to his website for that. Again, cheap cheap, inexpensive stuff to do uh, for fun. But realistically, you could probably leave, if you decided to do any combination of single coil and humbucker, you could probably leave these 250K with no issues. Uh, if you did 500K, I really think the, the bridge pickup would just get a little too bright uh, to worry about. In this particular guitar, I should point out that uh, in every case, uh, the pickups, whether I was using single coils or humbuckers, were seeing the correct uh, potentiometer that they were supposed to see because of that resistor. So 250k for the single coils and 500k for the humbuckers. So that's what was going on with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it was just something fun to show you the five pickups. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe if you're new. And if you're coming back, I appreciate you coming back and joining me. It's always good to see you. And more importantly, I want to thank you so much for your time. Till the next time, know your gear.